Hello there, this is Business Live from BBC News with Alice Baxter and Marion Mashiri. Yes, it took uh, Beijing just 11 hours to respond with retaliatory tariffs affecting $50 billion. We'll also coming up for you in the programme, Australia launches an investigation into Facebook. Up to 87 million users may have been improperly shared with a political consultancy firm. They've opened higher sharply today following a relief rally that we saw on Wall Street and Asian markets. A very warm welcome to the program for you. A busy show coming up. Uh, US farmers, they're warning that they'll be badly hurt. Well, the measures are a response to US plans to tax hundreds of Chinese imports. But there isn't the same value of goods moving in the opposite direction. The US imports nearly $350 billion more. Well, with us now is Ginny Yan, who's Chief China Economist at ICBC Standard Bank. Ginny, I can't tell you economists and experts looking at the US viewpoint or the global viewpoint, but what are the media in China? We'll get to negotiations. And what about the inflationary concerns within China, especially uh, with respect to some of the tit for tat? Thank you. Really good to get that perspective. Let's take a look now at some of the other stories making the news today. Now, Australia's Privacy Commissioner has opened a formal investigation into social media giant Facebook. The political consultancy at Cambridge Analytica. Well, let's talk now to Leisha Santarelli, who has more from our Singapore Bureau. Asian shares bounce back from two months lows on Thursday as world equities recovered from a sell-off triggered by those escalating Sino-US trade tensions. That gained 1.5% while markets in mainland China and those in Hong Kong and Taiwan are closed for a public holiday on Thursday and on Friday. Following that relief rally that we saw in the US and in Asia, markets have opened higher. Now, Kim Gittleson. She's got all the details about what's ahead on Wall Street for us. Thank you very much. Thanks. We're going to come back and talk to us about some of the business stories in the papers today, but still to come, insuring the uninsurable. Yes, one of the key suggestions from the Pensions uh, Freedom Report, as it's called, is for the creation of a single pension dashboard by 2019. Which, yeah, that's our top story today. And, uh, of course, the reaction that all that's had on. Well, we're joined now by Steve Mendel, who is Chief Executive of Bought by Many, the insurance uh, insurtech startup. Your quick journey in the yeah. startup, you, you started the business in 2012, didn't That's you? That's right, five and a half years uh, ago. Am I right in thinking a real turning point for you was uh, 2014? Now, the UK's International Trade Secretary, Liam Fox, is on a trade mission in Thailand. That's the Trade Secretary, Liam Fox, there in Thailand, drumming up, I'm sure, plenty of business for the UK, he hopes. Mm. I've got one from Old Fashioned Comedy. He says, uh, or she says, Hi, Alison Marion. If I give up social Hello. media, I lose my contact with the world. Is it fine balance between having that and also having worries about data protection and privacy? It, exactly. I've had another tweet, though, from a, a business owner, Lee Beaumont. Because you're scant. my friend and I know. I'm not particularly scant. professional on I've Facebook. I've been spying on your Facebook right. profile. There <laughs> <laughs> um, you've gone and ruined the could whole thing. <laughs> I think it's time we talked about she it. She said it. We'll call it uh, <laughs> great to have you on. That's it from Business Live today. There'll be more business news throughout the day on the Biz Live webpage. But for now, from Mariam and from me, many thanks for watching. See you soon.